Yeah, well, the backend power too. So I'm going to explain about the uh, procedural systems and play the abstract play the simulations and the lay tracing in the notes. So I'm going to adjust the Y scale about the primitive collision, scale Y to the two. Oh, so we have to the, uh, adjust the bounding box scales like two, two, and two. So the box icon light leaching the array scales on the, uh, in the box. Yeah. So. Yeah, these particles are looks so well, but I'm gonna have to uh, connect it. Looks like um, one object. So uh, let's connect to the procedure systems. I'm gonna a at a procedure root and connect to the root node like this. And if you use the procedure, you can make a, the graphics used in particles and fields like a single object. And you can use the functions such as straight based noise object, Boolean, and union to subtract or combine object shapes. So procedure also has its own loot yeah, like this. So after connecting this loot node, and we will add uh, particles in procedure generators. Particles like this, um, connect to the procedure loot. So, and this time we have to connect the particle loot to the procedural particles input as well, like this. And we have to add a uh, render nodes, the procedure meshing, and connect to the procedure loot like this. So if you import the procedure meshing from the random nodes, the, the objects created in the procedure will be rendered in the form of the 3D object. Before the setting up to procedure, we will disable to mesh renderer like this, press the control H or the light click and then click that this word like that. Yeah. And now uh, we can see very large spheres coming out. So let's reduce the particle size in particles properties like this. And also we have to uh, fill the mode to spare two blobs. Yeah, and also adjust to softness and the size randomness. Yeah, I have to uh, explain about the field mode blobs. Yeah, oh, if we collect the blob modes, so uh, all the particle shapes are combined, you can, as you can see. Oh, and the part uh, in the procedure, yeah, sorry, in the procedure, the X, Y, and Z scales are different states like this. So we may not, not to able to see the all of the particle shape we made. So we have to adjust the scale about ping-pong scales. So we have to press the two, two, and two. Yeah, so the particle shows, all of the particle shows in the uh, blender windows. So now the particles are all visible, but 
they I think they don't look like a liquid or the fluid. So at this time, I added a uh, belt node in the displacement and grab in here. Yeah, connect with the procedural loop. Yeah, here we can see that the by is just the iterations. We are getting closer to the shape of the liquid. Yeah, this one shows the particle shapes more. And I think it looks much better. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. The setup for the procedure and here, so let's move on the last example, the abstract simulation, uh, fluid simulation. So we have to, again, collect the new layer over right here and turn on the deferred rendering. And okay, press the okay button. So like the first and second visuals, we will use the particles and procedures and create an abstract and realistic for this system through the ray tracing. Yeah, again, we have to add a the particle loot and connect to the loot node. And primate emitter. Connect with the particle loot and procedure. Yeah. Procedure loot, connect with the loot, and we will bring the particles in generators. Connect with the particle loot. And the uh, particle loot, oh, sorry, procedural loot and particle loot as well. And the final one is the procedural meshing. Yeah. So these are the basic system of the abstract fluid simulation. And we will add some of the uh, fluid factors like we set up before in second uh, examples. So um, this time we will combine the fluid flame effector and the call noise and turbulence effector. So I have to grab this or the effectors, call noise fluid, fluid flame, and the turbulence. Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna add a Box I call lighting first and grab the bounding box over right here and connect with the box L con lighting. And I have to adjust the size of the bounding box like three. So I'll uh, adjust the gym. Yeah, uh, this system shows over like this. And this time, uh, I will uh, particle, like the particle numbers are uh, quarter million. And have to adjust in, in the particle uh, primitive diameter. So we will. Uh, Time to be more than 30,000, like yeah, 205 million. And we have to connect with the particle loot and then call noise flight. So particles are disappeared because their procedural loot scales are very small. So I have to this 
adjust by three. So we can see about this particles in the box. Yeah, and I have to uh, a bit lower the particle size. So grab like this. Yeah, I think this looks much better. And uh, just the color, color is no size. Something like this. And I'm gonna collect the flip the flip. Oh no, turbulence of vector first. So, Turbulence, no scale, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think seven is better. And uh, connect the flip, flip to connect the particle load. Yeah, but I think this is so. Uh, Fast, super fast, so I have to uh, a bit lower the velocity scale. Yeah, I think this movement, it looks really great. So now that you have some shape, you can turn on the light tracing either by using Shift R or the press the button over right here, or you can uh, enable the light tracing over the Loot node right here. So we click the enable light like tracing. So ray tracing is start. We are going to use something called a skylight to create realistic textures. Skylight is in here. Yeah, skylight. And connect with the loot node. So the skylight composes the light uh, 360 degrees and can compose that uh, the light of the surrounding environment. So we will search for the HDRI in Google and connect to the. Uh, sorry. You have to search the HDRI and click the first page, HDRI Haven. And we can click the browse HR, HDRIs. Um, I think this one is great. So we have to download this the HDR file. Yeah, if you finish the download the HDR file and drag it to the notch dot to grab to the uh, grab the video loader. Yes. So we have to um, add an additional node called environment map in here. So we have to grab this around here and yeah, it's needed to, to make this picture of surrounding environment, environment through the skylight. So uh, just add a this and connect with a skylight like this and connect the video router 
to environment maps uh, random input. So this third step is the, all of the set of setting of the skylight, and we have to discover the foster cone lighting. Yeah, uh, now in the skylight, turn on the light trace mode and visible sky dome. Yeah, to see the rendering <coughs> of the object according to the environment. Okay, now the, the lighting is set up and we are going to add a glass material. So we will add a glass RT material from the materials. So we have to add a, yeah, this glass RT material. And if we, uh, during the press shift the button and double click, the, this uh, material, we can see a thumbnail about this texture, and we have to connect this texture to the to the procedural meshing, like here. Yeah, procedural meshing materials. Yeah, uh, it will probably change to a black object like this. So after turning on light tracing, we must set what texture to create light tracing for setting. So we have uh, several menus such as uh, mirror, glass, diffuse, ambient occlusion. Yeah, many menus in here, but we will add a uh, pass tracer. And we will connect with the root node. So the glass material getting much better. Yeah, but I will adjust the refraction depths of the pass tracer. Right here, like five or seven, eight. Yeah, eight is much better. Oh, and can you see the nose in the texture here? So here we will the, add a timing of the add a RT refinement and connecting with the root node. Yeah, uh, this refinement has a anti-aliasing and denoising functions when we will track the AI denoising and use the GPU mode, yeah. So this function will uh, on the NVIDIA graph GPUs only. So now we can see the noise disappears very quickly. If I disable it, I guess any noise in here. If I never selected it and noises are 
really disperse and really fast quickly. So, and we'll add a flow object to reflect this object. So it looks like uh, we're looking at in a real space, yeah. So add a shape 3D node again, and crop to the shape 3D like this. And I'm gonna select the shape type on the box. And then adjust the X and Z axis about to 10. And adjust the size Y like this. And change the position Y like here. Yeah, it looks really uh, realistic, but I will add a uh, reflection material, reflective material. So I'm going to add a material in the materials and press the shift button and double click it to get the thumbnail of the materials. And I have to connect the this material to shape 3D box like this. Yeah, and material up to the box shape 3D's bottom. Yeah, and we can set the, this uh, flow object uh, material. So I'm going to Set up the metalliness like this. And you can see the reflection of the best object and flower object. Yeah, which is real, looks uh, really realistic. So we can see the flower object uh, reflecting this. So now we have a create an abstract object and fluid simulation object as if this object is uh, floating in real space. Uh, so let me have time. I will add some details for the movements and the texturing. So if we press the home button, yeah, uh, we're going to jump to the start of the layer or just click this button. Yeah, um, I think particle shapes are really looks great, but we have to create like a fluid simulation. So I have to add a belt displacement again and connect with the procedural loads. Yeah, uh, I have to adjust like this iteration, like this.
and the flow object is so close to the yeah this uh, fluid object so i have to adjust the version y like this yeah looks much better And we, if we the rotate the camera, the flight object that uh, affected by the uh, skylight environment. And let's just uh, pass the scales of the flight flight flight. Yeah, I think this angle is will be great. And I'm gonna lower make it lower the brightness about the flow object material. And their colors too white. So this and more loveness for the realistic environment. And oh, I still use the field mode in the spear, so I have to. Uh, change these uh, blobs yeah and to set up blob softness and size landness and adjust the particle size Yeah, it looks really better than the when you use the field mode in the spills spears. And I have to set up the movement of the particles. Yeah, uh, the color is flat. Maybe the size about the yeah. And I have to, I'm gonna adjust the size of the primary diameter, like half of the one. Yeah, looks much better now. And if we get closer, Can see the details about the light tracing materials, but I think uh, this part is uh, lower quality. So, if we, if you want to uh, better quality about the light tracing, we have to adjust the pass tracers, gloss, glossy diffuse reflection depths, which is really uh, hard for the uh, GPU. Yeah, uh, this one, I think it looks really cool, but I'm gonna try to not just a flight flight effector, I'm gonna use the SPH effector. So yeah. Okay. 
And I will adjust the primitive avatar as point shot Y, press the one. And I think this effector is, uh, looks like a just explosion. So I have to uh, uh, lower bit of cell size about this SPH system. And if we press the home button and the play, Yeah, I love this. And I'm going to add a primitive collision factor to collide, collide, make the collider of the uh, rocket solution. So you can see the range about the, of the primitive collision, if you uh, turn on the range indicators over the right here. And I think these range are really small, so I have to upper the scale size like two and scale by the lid. But primitive emitter is right here, so I have to inverted uh, the primitive collision range. So it really shows like this. And yeah, uh, I'm going to set this uh, the node name, press the function five but on the keyboard. So we can set the, this. Uh, node's name, so I'm going to name it flower object. Yeah, and two minus two. So it, was, it looks uh, particles and flowers, flower will the uh, Have the collision like this. And after colliding, the bouncing is too high. So I have to, after the dumping like this, one. Yeah, one is too high. Uh, Yeah, and if we use the SPHG after the factor system, I think uh, colloid fluid noise size would be great for the upper than the before. So I'm going to set this one. And uh, melt in duration is too high, too. And I'm going to set that this tense offset a will is small. Oops.
Yeah, it looks really great. And I'm gonna use a environment map to connect with the loot node and it will be uh, as some details about the texturing. So if we, uh, not just using our skylight, if we connect about the environment to loot node and we have to like the using environment mapping at the materials. So if I click this, Yeah, this shows uh, more details about the uh, right real time retracing by our environment mapping and glass ulti materials. Same thing, environment mapping check. Yeah, another huge change, but. Uh, Yeah, it looks nice. And and we can use the parameter emitter on a different type, like emitter type we use the spear only, but uh I usually use the plane. So disappear at the moment. So particles came out in uh, form of the plane type. And I think this size is too small to make it big. It's really useful to make a pattern of video or they're making a wave from the waveform visuals like this. So when I'm uh, using a uh, plane mode, I'm usually using uh, with combined fluid flip and primitive collision. Let's to change the uh, scales all like this X and Z scales and uh, scale Y just one. So primitive emitter push on Y is zero and I think turbulence noise scale is too big yeah I think this form is yeah really realistic and abstract movements about the flight simulation. So I'm gonna make this plane size two. And uh, check the user ready server. No, I'm gonna use it to the axis like this. And for the policy scales, I'm gonna set up axis like X chat. And colloids fluid label to then the downside the uh, noise side. Uh, 
and the flower is so like this. Particle size. Yeah, I think this is really cool, but uh, last one, I will try another HDRI photo. So the Polyhaven, and I'm going to search about the, like a liver or ocean environments. Yeah, uh, Canyon is a little bit cool. So download it and track to the node graph. And if you want to uh, the, uh, delete the link, you have to right click in here and like press the delete link or the Press the Ctrl Shift and click the like button of the mouse. You can the the server about the the link. So we will collect a new HR file called the Canyon, and it will connect with the environment map. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really like water. <laughs> and last one is we're going to add a primitive. Oh, sorry. Mesh renderer again and add a shape strings. And we're going to use the shape type by not spear the, the box and here. Yeah, I think this takes a long time, but Oops. And I'm going to adjust the mesh renderers size landedness. Yeah, I think it looks much better than just using the particles in the procedural loops, procedural system. Yeah, mesh renders are making more details about the texturing. Yeah, that's it. So we can make an abstract fluid simulation buying a 
optical effectors like a uh, call noise fluid and fully flip and a spatial system. And we can use the, about the primitive emitter, like different type of the emitter type. We use the spear and plane, but you can use the, yeah, almost about the, this uh, emitter type. And then we connect with the procedural particles and using procedural meshing and uh, connect with the glass altimaterials and turn on the ray tracing system. So yeah, we get these images or try again. Oh, I'm to collision. And three server. Yeah, wonderful. So yeah, we can create some kind of this flood system. Yeah, so we're gonna have the second break and see you in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, we're gonna over how to use the notes in the video server. Thank you. <laughs>